It's bridal shower day! I just wanted to like hop on to say that real quick. Maddie just picked up a family friend um, from who's visiting from Toronto and I'm literally going to hop in the car right now So I'm so excited to see I really have no idea what to, like to expect. Look how cute my hair is. My cute little dress. There'll be more footage. Okay, bye yeah! <laughs> We're here. We don't know where to go Hi. Hi. Thank God for the queers. Oh my God, really? <laughs> cream and my scone. I love my family and friends. They treat me so good. This is perfect. It's everything I was hoping. Thank you so much to my girls. Oh my god, all of them and like everyone else did everything. And there's our day. But I have all 19 rings. He's got all 19 rings. I think you're gonna win the prize, buddy. Sarah, oh my god. I know this so much was like was you and Jordan and, and like Brittany for the most part. Just everything was was so perfect, and I'm so grateful. And I love you guys so much. Today to do this, but like she like put this whole thing together while planning her own motherfucking wedding. Did I ever? No, oh my god, it was. So good. <laughs> Jordan was Sarah's like right hand woman. Yes, they got this shit done. We got it done. It vibed, thrived. We vibed. We, vibed. we crushed we it. It was bomb. It was so amazing. You're sweaty and gross. I love you. Uh, ew, you're actually so. Ew, good. you're wet too. <laughs> We're sweaty girls. <laughs> this wonderful lady literally bust like two and a half hours from no, Toronto. No, it wasn't that bad. For a one day trip just to be Is here. Is there any other garbage thing? Ah! That was the most amazing day. It's been a couple days now. I'm actually like, I just edited all that together and I'm looking back and my heart is just so full. I kind of wish that I got more, but I really wanted to make a point to like not be on my camera the whole time and not like get every little thing because I really just wanted to be there in the moment with my people and I feel like I did that and had such an amazing time. So I got there a little bit before everyone else was gonna get there so I could kind of greet everyone as they came in so it wasn't too overwhelming for me walking into like 30 people and trying to get my hellos in. It was high tea inspired at this cute little cafe in Font Hill. So there was a little coffee bar and everyone was able to get one free latte or 
fancy drink of their choice. And then for like the luncheon part, we had obviously you saw the little stands of all the different little pastries and little sandwiches. Lots of tea, of course. The mimosa bar, which was amazing. And of course, Maddie showed up to give me flowers and we got some photos and got to mingle a little bit and then everyone went home and it was, yeah, a great day. Anyways, um, I just wanted to ask for monetary gifts to contribute towards our honeymoon, which is going to be later in the year. However, some of my girls did get me a couple little gifts, which I think are super cute. So I just want to show them. Vanessa got me a lovely bottle of champagne with two little champagne shoots that say Mr. and Mrs. But we decided that we're gonna save it for when we get home, walk through the door as a newly married couple. And then these are from Sarah, so they're in Mrs. Passport holders for our trip. And some matching luggage tags. This little box is from Jordan, so it's a little bell. It says ring for a kiss. It works. And Maddie and I are mug people. Maybe me. I might be the mug person. Little Mr. and Mrs. Mugs. This little jar. Look, it's a honeymoon jar. And we go on our honeymoon, which we're like, 99% sure we're going to Bali. We can either put some little sand or some dirt or some leaves, flowers, whatever it be, into that as a memoir, which is so, I love like little meaningful things like that. The Mrs. and Mr. Keychains out of 2023. And then these were the party favors, which I showed, but I wanted to keep a few because I'm like, how cute are those? My Nan, who unfortunately, she lives in Winnipeg, so she couldn't be there, but she sent me this beautiful necklace. Canadian owned company. Look how sparkly. I'm a Halloween girl and she knows that so she got orange because she said it made her think of me which is super super sweet. I guess those can come off. The only thing really left now is the wedding. I can't believe it's so soon. It was two weeks yesterday. Pretty much everything is taken care of. My dress is officially done. I got my shoes. I got my hair piece. The only thing that hasn't been figured out yet is my bouquet, um, which at the end of the day, I wasn't like super set on having one. But if we can find like a little flower shop the day of, we can either deliver or we'll just pick it up on the way there. That'll do. I just want a little something to hold it. I guess that's it. I guess the next time you see me, I'll be getting married. <laughs> see you in Scotland, I guess. <laughs> So much. It looks like we're being healthy and drinking water. <laughs> we are not. We're having bin smash. Mmm. <laughs> Hell yeah. like a couple hours earlier than our check-in was. So we ended up going to the castle where we're getting married just to kind of see around because my mom is there. She's staying there tonight. Uh, so we went there to just like discuss some like final details and just like see my mom in her room and I just, <laughs> oh my God, I can't even believe it. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be married this time tomorrow. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be married. We are both like wicked exhausted. We haven't slept in like 24 hours but it's like 4.30 and we don't want to sleep because we want to get a good night's sleep like later so we can be refreshed for tomorrow. So we made a reservation for a dinner. This is the fit. The dress and shoes are from Forever 21. I think it's like so cute and like, it's just so puffy. I feel like a little mushroom. Okay, dinner time. I'm delirious, I'm so tired.
its wedding day. <laughs> we got to the castle a little bit ago actually. Um, we got here early so we just hung out with my mom because we had to check out of our Airbnb around 11 and our room wasn't going to be ready until like 12. So we had some scones that were delicious and just hung out for a bit and we came out and checked the room. Now Maddie's going to go get ready in my mom's room and I'm going to start getting ready in here. I'm in a castle right now and I'm getting married. I'm about to be a missus. So Maddie's mom gave me this. I think it was made by his grandmother um, and that's home. So we had a little piece of home with us. This is her necklace that I saw at her place and I asked if I could borrow because it like matches my ring perfectly. This was my Oma's who passed away last year and my grandma who passed away a couple months ago. This was a rock that I got from there when we went to go and say goodbye to her and she passed away while I was holding her hand. And my dress. I feel like everything like goes so perfectly. Down a little bit. <laughs> that better be part of the video. Of course. <laughs> what do you think? Nice, beautiful. Love it when her mind wanders, and she loves it when I see it home. I know when she's lost, and she knows when I feel alone. to like do anything we've just been chilling because we were just like enjoying our time and that's okay um but i figured i should film a little bit so i'm gonna film my day with you today we just got up and left the house well he's been up for hours but not me not my vibe <laughs> we're gonna go for brunch and do some do some touristier things good you single look awesome married <laughs> right now. Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. What did you get again? Just like a mushroom toast? A mushroom toast, yeah. What's on it? Cheese? You got brios, grana padano. Which they call rocket here. What do they call it? They call it rocket. Rocket? Rocket. Rocket. Oh, yeah. That's definitely my place of it. Oh yeah. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? My favorite place I've like ever been in Europe. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's hilarious because like we both love Europe because it's like super dark and moody and gothic architecture and just gloomy and dark. It's like, what's your favorite place? Oh the big pretty pink cafe. <laughs> walking shoes that I brought were my vans. So I got some new speed shoes. So fast. On my way to mow your dad's lawn. <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing this for a day. <laughs> Hi 
It's a good church. Good church. Museum of Edinburgh, no, Scotland. Scotland. Of Scotland. We love museums. We love museums. We love museums. Let's go to the museum. Let's go to the museum. We made it to Grass Market, but we're probably gonna head out relatively soon because it's like a super busy, like touristy day. Like this is like the day, like it's packed. Noodles. Huh? Noodles. Noodles. Yeah. Kind of want some noodles. Yeah. It's topped with what's it topped with? Oh, a duck hoisin spring roll and yeah. some crispy onions and sesame seeds and more hoisin sauce. We're gonna fuck that up. And green onion. And green onion. Stupid to say this, but I didn't know they had squirrels in Scotland. <laughs> Got a bloody sunburn in Scotland. I'll show you what I got today. I ended up getting a couple things from that like witchy shop. And I got a magic spells book because I'm trying to get in tune with my witchy self. Like a little postcard digital. Got me some gemstones. Specific ones for specific things. So I think this one is for calmness and clarity, generalness. I believe this one is for no, I think this one is for focus and like concentration. And then this one I think is plucking negative energy, whatever. Of course, 
a little spell jar, and black sealing wax, which for some reason is really hard to find in my area at home, so I got it here. I also got a vintage edition of The Blue Lagoon, my guilty pleasure book. It smells so, so good. I love the smell of old books.